Okay, Reeves, I just got a call from Key and Peel. They're saving your long lost brother, Keanu. So I have to go help them out, Reeves, all right? We need to go help your long lost brother. Are you with me, Reeves? Are you ready to go sacrifice our lives just to go get your brother back? Are you really ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready? Meow, meow. Good. Now, come on, Reeves. It's time to clean the fucking kitty litter. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Keanu. So Keanu is the first feature film by Key and Peele and the film is about when Jordan Peele is going through a breakup and this cute little kitten is just standing there in his front door. Jordan Peele instantly falls in love with this little cute kitten and decides to name it Keanu. Someone broke into Jordan Peele's home and stole Keanu from him. It's up to Key and Peele to actually act like drug dealers so they can see save the kitty known as Keanu and oh my goodness you guys I really couldn't wait to see Keanu because I'm a huge fan of Key and Peele first of all I love their Comedy Central sketch show I love the idea of these two guys going out there to sacrifice their lives just to get their kitten back I just thought it was a brilliant idea I was laughing so hard when the trailer released and I just really wanted this to be funny and honestly after seeing Keanu, I was very entertained watching this movie. Keanu is absolutely um, just very fun to watch. It's a funny movie and honestly as someone that has really liked Key and Peele, uh, well love Key and Peele because I love their work, uh, I was really satisfied walking out of this movie and yeah this movie is just a real ride. Now of course I gotta bring up Key and Peele. They're great. At this point these guys know how to work with each other. They have great chemistry with each other. You know, if you're a fan of Key & Peele, if you like their brand of humor, I think you'll find either a lot of enjoyment or some enjoyment with this film. So Key & Peele, they're still great here. But you do have a lot of talents here, like all the actors that play the gang members were really great. Jason Mitchell from Straight Outta Compton is actually one of the gang members in this film, which I thought was really funny. And I thought Jason Mitchell was actually really funny. The gang was actually really funny. I really enjoyed the gang in this film. And I like how we even got to know a little bit about them. And then, you know, Jordan Peele, he does have a connection with this female gang member. I just forgot the name, dang it, but uh, I thought the two of them had really nice chemistry with each other. Some very nice moments that I didn't see coming. It's actually very cool to see how they would interact with each other. Jordan Peele with the female gang member and then um, Keegan-Michael Key with uh, Jason Mitchell and the other couple of gang members. And that was honestly what made this film very entertaining. Is really the interaction of not only between Key and Peele, but Key, Peele, and the gang members. And just how they have to try to pretend they're these drug dealers even though it's illegal and they really do not want to get into the situation. So I thought the movie did a very well done job of actually executing that. Everyone's really great here honestly. Like there's not a single bad performance in this film. Everyone you could tell was just having a lot of fun and they did their job very well to be honest. Wolf Forte is really great in the film. I thought he was just going to have a cameo from the trailer but he's actually in the movie just a little more than I actually thought and that was actually pretty cool because Whenever Will Forte is in this film, he's pretty damn funny. I really enjoyed him. There are a few cameo appearances from celebrities as well that were very enjoyable to watch. I'm not going to spoil those cameo appearances, of course, but you do have a few cameo appearances. Personally, my favorite one, however, well, one does deal with the voice cameo. That's all I'm going to say from there. But my favorite one is actually the one that appears towards the end of the movie. Like, I'm going to say like the last 15 to 10 minutes of the movie. That was really cool to actually see him in the film. And the blonde actress that does appear, I'm not going to say who exactly, but that's all I'm going to tell you. The blonde actress that does appear in the film, you know, I enjoyed watching her. The comedy in this film 
really good. There were some moments where I found myself busting out laughing. I was laughing really hard in some moments. Some moments had me mildly laughing, but there were some moments that just had my gut hurting because of how funny they were. Like they really delivered in some parts of the movie. And the movie, honestly, it doesn't really take itself too seriously, which I appreciated. When the movie is serious, the movie knows it's serious and they kind of poke fun at the fact that they get serious. I really like the storyline in this film. I think in terms of the script, the movie is honestly very well written. It's very clever. I do think the movie is honestly very well directed. It has some very great direction. I think the director actually helped with the Key and Peele sketch show as well, if I'm not mistaken. And as far as cinematography goes, the movie is very good looking. Now, some of the problems I do have with Keanu, however, is that, you know, as you can expect with comedies, there are going to be moments where the humor doesn't always work. There are some parts where the humor just didn't work out for me as well as I would have liked them to. And, you know, when it comes to the humor, there's times where Key and Peel, they'll talk and talk and talk. Like they just keep running along with the joke and it kind of drags on. Not too long, but it kind of drags on. Like the joke would start out very funny and then Key and Peele would just keep talking and talking and running the joke. The movie is an hour and a half. And I have to say, there are a couple of moments where I did find myself a little bored watching the movie. There were a couple of parts where I felt like it could have been paced better. Like, there would be a small five to six minute section where I'm not really laughing. Now, as I said earlier, I did enjoy this cameo appearance from this blonde actress. Once again, not giving away the cameo. Um, all I'm going to say is I enjoyed seeing her in the movie. And it started out funny. But then they would drag on in this scene. Luckily, it doesn't drag too much because this movie would cut between, you know, Jordan Peele, the female gang member, and her. And then it would cut back to Keegan-Michael Key and the others, like, listening to George Michael, which was so freaking hysterical. So that was great. But whenever it cut back to them, I'm all like, okay, um, let's kind of finish up this scene because it was getting funny. And then they run this scene with this blonde actress and it just wasn't really getting funny anymore until once the scene was starting to actually wrap up. And the final problem I did personally have with Keanu is that I did feel like the movie lost focus for a while on this cat because the cat doesn't really appear all that much. Like for a while, they're so focused on trying to get Keanu back. And then the movie focuses on a whole nother thing. Overall, you guys, I thought Keanu was a very solid comedy film. I really enjoyed it. There were some moments where I was really laughing hard. It was great to see Key and Pill do a movie together. And the fact that they start off a movie about them sacrificing their lives, posing as drug dealers just to save a cat, Honestly, it's just brilliant. The concept is brilliant. How they handled the movie was brilliant. This is honestly a comedy movie. I just had a really good time watching, especially as someone that really loves Key and Peele personally. And I'm going to give Keanu three out of four stars. So you guys in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Keanu. And are you a huge fan of Key and Peele? Or are they comedy duos that don't necessarily work for you? i really like to know in the comments down below. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.